We've gone over the anatomy of all this stuff and how it connects to circulation. We're now going to finally get to our first step in this process, which is pulmonary ventilation and the process of ventilation, which I told you in the first video, is inspiration and expiration. So let's look at each of these processes. It's gonna be related to changes in volume. I'm gonna do this, what might feel like a little bit redundant. We're gonna go over the basic, um, what happens, then get into these terms of pressure, volume changes, and then um, go back to this big picture again. So first I want you to make, like have this make sense. If you want um, air to go in to the lungs, which is what happens during inspiration, you need to make the thoracic um, cavity larger. That's going to allow airflow in. So what happens during inspiration is the muscles involved in um, respiration contract. So the external intercostals and the diaphragm are going to contract that's going to increase the volume of the thoracic cavity, move the rib cage up and the diaphragm down. It's going to create more space when thoracic cavity volume increases, air can flow into the body. And this just happens kind of at resting breath. For a large inhalation during exercise or a forced inhalation, there are other um, neck muscles, scaling muscles that contribute to that force as well. So this can be um, made even more of dramatic volume change. For exhalation, so expiration, the muscles relax again. The external intercostals relax and the diaphragm relaxes. The diaphragm move, moves up to its dome shape when it's relaxed. When it was contracted, it was like this. This is our contracted diaphragm. This is here, our relaxed. That dome shape, as well as the relaxation of those external intercostals in between the ribs, those relaxing is going to decrease thoracic cavity volume and force air out of lungs. This happens just at quiet inspiration and expiration. Um, but during exercise, you, you can increase this volume change with um, other abdominal muscles um, for, for one that increase that volume decrease to increase um, the air that's leaving the lungs. So let's do a learning check here, describe what's occurring in each of these pictures, what process is occurring, as well as the muscles, changes in thoracic cavity volume, and is it inspiration or expiration? 